Hi, my name is Alistair Lee, and in this sneak peek, we're going to take a look at some of the event reports that you might see in a future version of Adobe Connect. To do that, I've got an event up here on my screen. I'm going to click on the Reports tab, and you'll see we've got some of the same reports we've had in previous versions. I've got all of my aggregate user data here to show me who's been invited, how many people registered, how many people were approved or rejected, and how many actually attended my event. I can certainly download all of that information, including the questions that people answered as they were registering for my event. But as I scroll down, you'll see a brand new conversion funnel. And this conversion funnel helps me look at the overall life cycle of my complete event. So how many people came and looked at my event information page, the microsite that I set up for my event? I can see that 91 people came and uh, were looking at my information page. Of those, 84 of them, or 92.3%, actually clicked on the registration page. They were interested in registering. Of those, 55 actually finished the registration. So about a 65% completion rate for that registration. And then I had 42 of them log into my event, and 41 of them were registered leads or qualified leads. I'll show you what I mean by qualified lead in just a second. But you can see that this conversion funnel is a lot more helpful in helping me understand how people are finding my event and where they're abandoning the process if they are. So let's take a look at what a qualified lead is. I'm going to scroll back up to the top of my page and look at the registration reports that are new to the next version of Adobe Connect. The first section here is something that allows me to set the qualified lead qualification criteria. So this lets me define who is a qualified lead and who's not. One of the first things I might want to do is check for attendance. Did these people attend my event? Obviously, if they didn't, they may not be a qualified lead. But if they did attend, how long did they attend? I can set this for 20 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever I determine the minimum duration should be. I can also take a look at the questions that we asked both the questions in the event itself, so take a look at polls, as well as the questions that we were asking during registration. So I can set up some new rules based on those questions. I can take a look at what we asked during, pres uh, during the registration, take a look at whether they answered that question or not, if it was optional, and then if they did answer it, if it was a multiple choice question or a yes or no question, I can take a look at how they answered that question. I can do the same thing with polls. And I can add as many of these rules as I'd like. So I might want to add a second rule here to capture both uh, somewhat and uh, vary as uh, answers. Somewhat and yes. And I'm going to say match any rule rather than match all rules. And that will capture both poll questions. As I scroll down a little further, You'll see I've got access to uh, download the report data for all of the user information. I've got this new report called a campaign report. And again, this is going to help me track what are the most effective campaigns I've got in bringing people to my event. And you can see here, we're not just tracking how many people registered based on a single campaign, but again, looking at that entire life cycle of the campaign. So I had three different campaigns, and that basically means I've got three different URLs, just a slight tag on the end of each one of those URLs to determine who's coming to my event or how they're finding out about my event. Uh, so I'm tracking here without any campaign, somebody who's had the direct URL, uh, people who came via my URL from Twitter, from LinkedIn, and Facebook. And for each of these, I can see how many people clicked on the event page, how many people went to register, how many people completed registration, how many people actually attended my event, and how many of those were qualified leads. So I can see, for example, that Facebook brought in a lot of people. It, it drew a lot of interest to my event information page, but I didn't get a lot of qualified leads from Facebook. Whereas I look at LinkedIn, for example, drawing fewer people overall, but a lot more qualified leads. So this will help me understand where to put my energy and my resources as I'm creating campaigns for future events. I can also, on the same page, look at where people are abandoning the process. Here are the registration questions that I've asked people to answer, and I can see how many people have answered all of these registration questions. And if people are abandoning the process, I can take a look at where they're doing so and maybe craft this to be more effective for future events. There's a lot more in terms of event reporting. We're only looking at a couple of tabs, but I'm going to save that for a future sneak peek. Thanks for your time.